Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, would you tell us your full name and introduce yourself to security, please? I'm John Tilly. I'm an investigator for American County Sheriff's Department. And do you have any rank with the government, sir? As Just an investigator. investigator. Yes. How long have you been with American County Sheriff's Office? Approximately six years. Okay, sir, are you assigned to any particular type of cases as far as your investigative duties? I was assigned to the Major Crimes Unit. Are you so assigned on the dates of July the 31st and August the 4th of 1990? Yes, sir. So, can you tell us when you first uh, began an investigation surrounding the death of a Troy Burris? The first time it occurred was on July the 31st, 1990. There had been a report of a missing man identified later as Mr. Burris. Uh, they requested that I follow up the investigation on the case on the 31st of July. Did there subsequently come a time when you made a discovery as to an individual that came known to you as Troy Burris? Yes, sir, that is correct. And what day did that occur? August 4th. Can you tell us how that discovery was made and where? There was a body located on, in the, a wooded area on State Road 19, approximately eight miles north of State Road 40 in our county. What county is that? Marion County. Uh, upon a closer examination of the body, uh, we removed some jewelry. I did uh, a wedding band. Uh, was there any other jewelry on the man at that time? There was also a necklace, yes, sir. All right, sir. Now, anything else about that body that you can describe it as you first observed it? The body was lying face down. It had been covered with some palm fronds. Uh, it was in an advanced stage of decomposition of the discovery. Okay. What, if anything, did you do after making the discovery of Mr. Burris' body? Well, the crime scene was secured by deputies initially that arrived on the scene. Uh, upon my arrival, I stayed with the evidence technicians and the scene was processed by them. Were any items of evidence uh, found by you or your evidence technician in relationship to Mr. Burris that you were able to identify as being his property? Yes, sir. The, he was a delivery man for a sausage company. His clipboard as well as some of his cash receipts, uh, the receipts invoices, were located uh, approximately one-tenth of a mile from the body. Uh, was there anything, I'm sorry, sir, did you indicate whether or not there any matters of personal identification were also located? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There was a driver's license was also right, found. I'm sorry. <coughs> now, were there any vehicles that you were able to determine as being uh, in a relationship to Mr. Burris found at, by his body? His vehicle that he used in the delivery, his truck was found on the uh, morning of the 31st, uh, located at State Road 19 to State Road 40. And approximately what distance would that be uh, in relationship to the discovery of Mr. Burris' body on August 4th? It's approximately eight miles from where the body was located. And when did you first learn about the truck being missing, or being found, excuse me? On the afternoon of the 31st, once I was notified to investigate his disappearance. All right, sir. And what, if anything, can you do with that truck once you uh, learn about its whereabouts? I had it taken back to our technical services division and impounded there for uh, the, uh, to be processed. Now, as part of your duty, sir, after the discovery of the body, did you also attend an autopsy in this case? Yes, sir, I did. Can you tell us whether or not you obtained any items of evidence uh, during the course of that autopsy for further submission uh, for laboratory purposes? Yes, sir, there was. There was two uh, projectiles that were removed from his body that I obtained there. Do you have those with you, sir? <clears throat> yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir. May it please the court, these items have been previously marked during the recess as state quadruple C for identification. Are you able to identify state quadruple C as the bullets you indicated that you obtained from the medical examiner? Check yeah. your honor. Would you tell us when you obtained state quadruple C, sir, and from whom? Are you referring to the date they were originally recovered? Yes, sir. Okay, these were recovered at the autopsy on August the 5th of 1990. Were you present during that time? Yes, sir, I was. And did you observe where they were removed from? They were removed from his body, yes, sir. And you mentioned also a piece of identification, a driver's license. Do you have that with you, sir? Yes, sir, I do. And let me show you now, sir, for the record, what has been previously marked as state's quadruple D for identification. Ask you if you can identify that object. Yes, sir, this is the driver's license of Mr. Burris. So I'd ask you to open up the envelope.
We're talking about clear plastic packaging, Your Honor, I refer to as non blue. Please. Can you tell, I'm sorry, can you tell me where you found that driver's license in relationship to Mr. Burris's body? Where the body was located off State Road 19, there is a small single lane dirt road, uh, approximately two and a half tenths of a mile off that road is where Mr. Burris's body was located. Uh, approximately one tenth of a mile down that road on the south side of the road, his uh, receipt book as well as the license and items were located in the wooded area. Let me show you, sir, what has been marked previously for identification purposes. May I approach you on it? That's state <laughs> Triple V, Triple W, and Triple X. I ask you if you can identify those photographs and do they fairly and accurately depict the scene that you observed on August the 4th, 1990? Yes, sir, they did. Okay, sir. Can you describe for the jury what those photographs states, Triple V, X, and Y? Make sure I'm not misstating V, X, and W, excuse me. W is uh, the roadway approximately one-tenth of a mile off State Road 19. Uh, this is the single lane dirt road that I described that leads to the body of the victim. Yes, sir. Now, in relationship to State Triple W, were any items of evidence found, uh, if you can use that as a reference point for us? Yes, sir. Approximately where this photograph was taken directly to the right, which would be the south side of the roadway, is where the driver's license and other items were located in the wooded area. Okay, would it assist you, sir, in uh, explain to the jury your testimony to show them this photograph and, and approximate where the items were found? Yes, sir. Please, of course, the state would offer states triple W for identification purposes. That states a uh, <laughs> record reflect that I'm talking about the county. No objection, Your Honor. Look down in here, see if you mark that State 61. Let me show you also, sir, what has been marked for identification purposes of states triple V as in zero for identification. May I ask you if you recognize that photograph? Yes, sir, I do. Is that a fair and accurate representation of the clipboard you previously described as having been found in yes, the location sir. as described by you? Yes, sir, it is. Does this photograph also, this, excuse me, I'm sorry, that will move this in to please court states triple Z for identification? Objection. Let me show you, sir, what is in mark for identification purposes as states quadruple A is an apple. May I ask you if you recognize that deal? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you describe to the jury what is representing states triple A as a fair and accurate representation and you make an identification of that vehicle? Yes, sir. This is the delivery vehicle in which Mr. Burris utilized to run his route. And this is the vehicle you described as being recovered on July 31st by your agency? Yes, sir, it is. Let me ask you this, sir, if you would. Take a look at state's quadruple B for identification. I ask you if you recognize that photograph. Yes, sir, I do. Okay, were you able to determine the identity of that individual as to the body that was found in the woods by your agency on August the 4th, 1990? Yes, sir. And who is, if you will, tell the jury who that is? This is the victim, Troy Burris. Objection, Your Honor. Oh, really? Your Honor, please the court at this time the state would offer state triple D for identification. Straight quadruple A for identification. We'll see the counsel. I don't know if that can keep here. Yes, sir. And this is the Joint Council States Triple X. Your Honor, we would be objecting to uh, states exhibit or identification X, X, triple, triple, triple X. X. Yeah. Uh, on the basis of uh, 9403404 and previous uh, lodged objections as it relates to Williamsburg. 
What about the other? No questions? objection to those. Mm -hmm. The objection is only to XXX. Yes, Your Honor. All of the graphs that piece we have to be received as part of our All for objection, Your Honor. Council, any objection to state quadruple B? <coughs> yes, Your Honor. And overall, we renew our previous objections as to the ones we really should, Your Honor. Right. Indicated we have a running objection on that regard. Anything further than the way you drill? Yes, sir. As to that exhibit, we object on grounds of problems. Mr. Mm -hmm. Take a little rule of that. We receive you tomorrow. Please, the court at this time, the state also offers states by Google deep identification of the driver's license and the driver's license. No running objection, Your Honor. Nothing further. All right. Yeah, we receive you tomorrow. State exhibits 63 through 67. Let me ask you, if you will, to please open up what has been marked as state's quadruple C for identification. Tell me who's identified as officer after examining them. Yes, sir. I have initials on the, the bag here in which they were obtained and placed in the bag and sealed at the time. What are those items located in state's triples? As in Charlie's identification. These are the projectiles that were removed from Mr. Burris's body. Now, sir, in your part of your investigation, you're able to determine Mr. Burris with a salt truck driver? That is correct. Uh, sir, in the clipboard, which uh, photograph has been admitted to, were there receipts contained there on? That is correct. Were you able to determine how much money Mr. Burris had, been, had collected that day from those receipts? It was approximately $350. Did you find any money on or about Mr. Burris or in the scene or general location? No, I did not. How about in the uh, salsa truck, the vehicle? No, sir. Other than the wedding band that was found on his hand, and a necklace around his neck. Was there anything of personal identification found to him or items of value? No, sir. Can you describe for the jury the general clothing condition of Mr. Burris when you found him? He was wearing a blue jean and a pullover type shirt. Uh, again, the, he was in an advanced stage of decomposition, so these items were in uh, a bad array, disarray. Can you describe whether or not he was clothed or unclothed? He was clothed. Was he fully clothed or was he semi-clothed? No, sir, he was fully clothed. Socks, shoes, pants, yes, sir. Yes, shirt? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you make an examination of the clothing? Yes, sir, I did. You make, in that examination, describe the jury what, if anything, you observed about him as to the closure of his pants, zipper, things of that nature? Everything appeared to be intact. He was, um, his clothes, his shoes, his socks, his shirt was on. Um, nothing appeared to be out of order. Please, the court, at this time, with the witness's help, I would like to publish to the jury the general location where the clipboard and driver's license was found as evidence of state. Sixty-one and sixty-two in evidence, Your Honor. Sorry. Sure. May the witness stand down there? Sure. Your Honor, may I aid him by holding these? Yes, sir. <coughs> Take a tilt. We'll stand over to my side here. I want to make sure all the rooms are safe. Top photograph is stated 61 in evidence. Detective. Can you describe to the jury what it is that they are seeing in this photograph in relationship to Mr. Burris's body? All right. This is directed off State Road 19, approximately one tenth of a mile at this point where this photograph is taken. Here. You can see the small station wagon type of vehicle there. Uh, that goes directly around the corner. It curves to the left, back to the north, and uh, right after that area is where he was located. Directly to the right where the photograph is taken is where the clipboard and his driver's license and other items were recovered. Can you point out on this picture possibly where the jury, uh, if you can explain where the, where the clipboard and driver's license were found in relationship to state 61 and that? It would be directly out of the picture here to the right. Okay, where I kind of have my left hand a little bit, yeah. my left index finger.
Now, in conjunction with State 61, was the clipboard that you found with the receipts for $350? Yes. And there was, I understand these were receipts only. There was no currency included. Your Honor. I'm sorry, I'll just, I'll just right. What, if anything, did you find attached to that clipboard? Just the receipts from the day. Did you find anything of value in the general vicinity of it or anywhere at the crime scene at any time? No. <laughs> May I publish again, yes, sir? State 65 and evidence detectives, can you describe for the jury what we're seeing in State 65? This is the actual clue that Mr. Burris was located. If you look directly on the center of the picture to the, to the bottom left there, of y'all, uh, there's some old pop problems laying on the ground there, which are dead, uh, directly adjacent to those where he was located. In relationship to the roadway that we've seen, can you describe where the body was located in relationship to that roadway? As far as distance and north, south, east, or west? He was facing in a north-south uh, direction to that roadway there. Covered up with the palm front, sliding face down with his hands under his body. But how far was he if, uh, from the roadway itself? He was right on the roadway approximately two feet. <laughs> We'll stay there one second again. Second, if I show you what has been marked in evidence of state 63 in evidence, yeah. can you describe for the jury what we are seeing in this photograph? That is Mr. Burgess' device. That as you found him on August 4th? Yes, sir. That is how he was found. He was undisturbed at that point. What was the state the, the state of his body upon closer examination? Uh, he was fairly far advanced decomposition. His arms and facial area were completely decomposed. Was there any evidence of insect activity upon his body? Yes, sir. He was, uh, Objection field of expertise, Your Honor, unless the, author, the investigator is also in Your Honor, in please the court. Like Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we tell the jury, if you would please, from examining what is now introduced in evidence of State 67, the height of Mr. Burke. He's probably about to say. And does his driver's license indicate his weight? Uh, no, sure. Were you able to make a determination through your, through your investigation of his approximate weight? There is a uh, approximate basis of knowledge around the report. Well, right. so I'm very afraid of this problem. That's fine, Judge. I'll allow the medical examiner to do that. And what are we seeing here in State 64? That is the actual truck that uh, Mr. Burris utilized to run his uh, sausage route. Any items of personal property or value found in that truck? No, sir. Linking them to Mr. Burris? Judge, if I may have just one moment. Do we have a seat for something? Sir, let me show you what has been previously marked for identification purposes. That states triple Y. Please do not publish this to the jury. Ask you if you can identify that letter address. Yes, sir, I can. Is that a fair and accurate representation of Mr. Burris' body after he was turned over? Yes. By, as you've described to Mr. Yes, sir, that is correct. Yes, sir. State would also state that. That seems like something else. Objection that noted sustained. Thank you. You ran the clerk your honor for the record. Thank you, Your Honor. Let me ask you one last question, sir. 
The body that you've located in the woods that you described as Mr. Burroughs with two shots removed from him. Is that the same body that was autopsied on August 5th in your presence? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Nothing further, Your Honor. May these photographs see all the two to three. That's Matt. Don't start your uh, yes, sir. cross to the R, but I, I'd like to just ask about is this road, would you say it's 19? Is this the road that runs north off of 40 towards Salt Spring? Yes, sir. Approximately how far from 40 and I didn't know did where, where the body was located? Yes, it was approximately eight miles north of 40 <laughs> on State Road 19. How close is that? Approximately five miles south of Salt Springs. Your Honor, please put in there. I've forgotten one. Yes, sir. sir, let me show you what has been previously marked for identification purposes as states <coughs> triple J for identification. I ask you if you can mark for me with your finger and identify the corresponding number where Mr. Burris's body was located in your county. All right, so that'll be number five and five A. Okay, now number five represents what, sir? That'll be the body of Mr. Burris and five A is where the truck was located. And what was the approximate distance uh, between the body of Mr. Burris and his sausage truck as recovered? Eight miles. Okay, may the record reflect the witnesses for pointing out states five and five A. I don't. I saw it. I don't know if Edson saw it. Let me show you. So it is now in evidence. Previously identified and introduced to states forty-two in evidence. I would ask you, sir, if you can, by the use of stage triple J, place on there letters five and five A as you've identified them on stage triple J for identification. Thank you, sir. And we publish this also, Your Honor. Is that in that one, Yes, sir. This is number 42 in Yes, ma'am. Can you explain to the jury what those are, please? They're, uh, if you want to call it a, a large leaf that's, you see uh, here in Florida, uh, they've been cut there. If I, you want me to use a picture to show them to understand sure. it better? Yes, ma'am. So the, the, the body was partially covered, is that right? Yes, ma'am. It was visible. Yes, ma'am. Someone could locate it. Yes, ma'am. You uh, indicated that Mr. Burr's credit card 
was located. Is that correct? Uh, I indicated his driver's license. And credit card? Some other cards, yes, ma'am. Was it a credit card? I'd have to look at the exact list of uh, okay. evidence that was recovered. Would you like to look at your report? Sure. That refresh your memory? Sure. Um, do you have your report with you? Or you I don't have it in, in here. Okay. here. I'm referring counselor to page seven. Right, okay. Can I approach? Yeah. Okay. Does that refresh your memory? Yes. Sir. And uh, isn't it a fact you found a credit card belonging to Mr. Burris? That's what my report indicates, yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, all of the receipts and a clipboard was recovered, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. And all of the checks issued to Mr. Burris were recovered, isn't that right? To my knowledge, yes, ma'am. Okay. You testified uh, during direct examination that nothing of value was found on Mr. Burris, is that true? Of personal value that he, the, the way I understand Mr. DeMore, personal value other than the ring and the necklace. So you're now saying that the gold wedding ring was something of value, is that right? Your Honor, that's what he indicated before. Council Ms. Sadie said that's perfect. There's no objection. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Gold necklace. Yes, ma'am. Is a value. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Walk on one with Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. 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 <laughs> Fred Johnson. If you're a black judge, you're not getting it. I don't know the question. <laughs> I wish Mr. Moore would check or something. I'm sorry. Sir, would you state your name, please? Fred Johnson. Now, Mr. Johnson, can you tell this jury what you do for a living and how long you've done it? I'm a crime scene investigator with the Sister County Sheriff's Department. I've been employed with the Sheriff's Department for 11 years. All right, sir. And do uh, you have some evidence pertaining to a homicide uh, relating to your duties as a major crime unit investigator? Yes, I do. You have the evidence with yes, you? Yes, sir. Uh, can I see it momentarily, please? Yes, sir. Can I approach? Yes, we will walk out with the. We'll be in the. We'll spread on the table.
the yellow tags attached to them. Uh, you, know, you know who placed them there? Yes, sir, I do. All right, would you tell the jury, please? Yellow tags are a, a chain of evidence, custody chain of evidence. It shows where I got them from, what I did with them, put, like put them in the uh, uh, evidence lockers at our sheriff's department. In other words, it, it would go from me to our evidence locker at the sheriff's department. They showed the chain of custody. Your Honor, please, uh, we would offer the vials with their contents. There was one concern. There, there was one matter, Your Honor, we worked it out. There's no objection. We would, however, review a, a Richardson and a what nice. for the when we to this and any reports, etc. We have be received from her. Your Honor, the item of concern with the yellow tags, they had some writing on it. I'm going to take them off by that. Yes, sir. Tell the jury, please, what uh, now states exhibit. Sixty eight. Yes, there's the uh, the back containing the five projectiles removed from David Spears' body. Mr. Spears, by yes, sir. Now, we have no further questions. Do we? Did you inquire? Just hold on, yes, sir. Mr. Johnson, did you bring any reports with you? Reports, the lab reports, yeah. yes, sir. I have them. Any reports that you saw today, yes, sir. I have them outside. You make reference, can you just, do you have those in front of you? Which ones you want? Your reports, the ones you- No, they're outside. They're outside, okay. Do you recall making a reference in one of your reports, or do you recall a reference to a projectile that was not reported? Yes, sir, I gave uh, projectile number six that was found in the clavicle of the body to uh, Dr. Maples. What happened to you? I don't know, sir. He kept the whole clavicle, the bullet was in it, and he said he had to take it to Gainesville to, to remove it. Was the clavicle lost too? No, sir. Just pull it out of the clavicle. Yes, sir. Clavicle is what? With this piece right in here. Dollar bill? Somewhere like that. <laughs> we have no further questions. Lee, what did you want? Lee, further? Would you keep with us further as long as he's available to you? Yeah, available to us. Thank you may stand down the Thanks, sir. Your Honor, please recall, uh, recall Mr. Champagne, recently retired, now on the second day of retirement. You state your name, please. Donald Champagne. Uh, Mr. Champagne, you're still under oath from yesterday. Is that sufficient, Your Honor? Should you be sworn? Yes, sir. He was sworn yesterday. Yes, sir, he was. Okay. Unless the defense is required to be sworn again, he be still under the oath of his trial. No, Your Honor, we don't yeah. require re swearing around. We make a screen of this previous motion to burn the witness to her. Yes, sir. And, sir, would you again uh, state what your uh, field of expertise is? Uh, firearms identification. All right, sir. And uh, did you have occasion to uh, make some projectile? Uh, 
comparisons and analyses in addition to those you talked about yesterday with regard to the amount side of Mr. Mallory. Yes, sir, I did. And uh, could you uh, look at your uh, note, notes and reports on that and begin with the first of those which you, which uh, in sequential order in which you made examination which relates to this case. I think that's going to be a little difficult to do. I'd have some of them could just uh, all right, sir. give me the exhibit. Right. Let's begin. Did you did you do a, a firearms projectile examination with regard to the homicide uh, in which you received cartridges identified as being taken from a deceased named Charles Humphreys? Yes, I did. And. Uh, could you tell the jury, please, uh, how many projectiles you examined and what your findings were? particular case, I received uh, six uh, fired 22 caliber bullets. And could you tell, please, uh, what your examination revealed? I found that uh, in my examination that they were uh, 22 caliber uh, copper coated uh, lead alloy bullets uh, that were hollow point and uh, were of the Stinger, CCI Stinger variety. And could you tell the jury, please, if you could tell anything about the uh, class of the uh, weapon from which they were fired? I found that they were all fired uh, from a, a weapon having six screws with a right hand twist in the barrel. And how did that uh, compare with the uh, cartridges? Extended cartridges from which you've already testified about were taken to the body of Ricky Charles Mallory. So they were all the same brand and they were all fired from a weapon having the same six right class characteristic. Determine whether or not these two were hollow point? Yes, they were all the same. All right, be certain I have missed one of the characteristics. Would you list those characteristics slowly or so I can write them down? Uh, the class characteristics of the well, bullet itself? Of the bullet first. The bullets. Uh, they were 22 caliber, uh, hollow point, <laughs> copper coated, stinger type cartridges or bullets as manufactured by CCI. And the firearm for which they were fired had a class which was described as what, please? Class characteristics of six screws with a right hand twist in the barrel. I would uh, ask you to examine, examine State's Exhibit 53, which is in evidence. And if you would just, if you can determine from the packaging 
can determine whether or not those are the cartridges you examine with regard to Mr. Humphreys. It's an envelope inside this plastic bag that has my file number, initials, and date on it. Uh, the date is uh, September the 17th, uh, 1990. Now there's also a paper bag in here that uh, has uh, my file number, initials, and date on it. Those appear to be the containers in which you place the extended cartridges and you found them. Yes, sir, they all have my file number, initials, and date on them. All right, sir, and would you, uh, I think, open one of those should be sufficient to determine that the many cartridges are inside. In fact, are they sealed? Uh, no, they're not presently sealed. They were when I received them. Uh, these are uh, uh, the bullets that uh, that I received. Have my initials on them. On this one. <coughs> Have another bullet that has my initials on it. Do you want me to go through all of them? Yes, please. Another bullet that has my initials on it. has my initials on it. Another bullet that has my initials. Another bullet that has my initials on it. You retrieve them, Your Honor, and exchange this group. I'd like you to examine what is now in evidence. Uh, states Exhibit 68 projectiles taken from the body of. David Spears. Uh, it's an envelope that has my, well, there are two envelopes that have my file number, initials, and date on them. The date's October the 24th, 1990. Does that, do those appear to be uh, projectiles packaged in the packaging and, and uh, that you handle your examination of the Yes, sir, these are five uh, plastic vials. That right, have my file number, initials, and date on them. Did you conduct uh, an examination to compare uh, characteristics of uh, cartridge and firearm for which those were fired? Yes, I, I examined uh, the bullets and, and compared them microscopically with other bullets. Sir, and what were you finding? 
uh, that they were uh, uh, 22 caliber hollow point copper coated lead alloy bullets uh, that were fired from a weapon having six screws of the right hand twist. I'd like you to examine State's Exhibit Quadruple C and ask if you recognize uh, the package and the contents of that. Uh -huh. This is a, an envelope that has my file number, initials, and date on it. Date September the 17th, 1990. A paper bag that also has my file number, initials, and date on it. Uh, two plastic vials that have my file number initials and date on them, and each one contains a bullet that has my initial number. Right, sir. And you can tell the jury what your findings were with regard to those two targets. But they were uh, 22 caliber copper coated uh, hollow point uh, lead alloy bullets that were fired from a weapon having six screws with a right hand twist barrel. All right, sir. And uh, your information with those cartridges for the body of Troy Burris. Objection, Your Honor. Here we go. If you have knowledge. If you have knowledge. I don't, I don't uh, have any direct knowledge, no, sir. May I have just a moment, sir? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Please, we would like to offer uh, these projectiles uh, uh, exhibit quadruple C in the evidence. They were previously identified by a prior witness having been removed from the body of Troy Burris. Objection to the comment. Right. That number was the added to the and marked by a prior witness. It's number 69. All right, so those uh, two projectiles are state 69. Uh, can you tell the jury what you found with regard to those two? I just did, I thought. And did you yeah. give us that? Yeah, I think so. Same characteristics yes. of class as those found in Charles Humphreys and David Beard, your honor, and that's the answer. No personal knowledge here today. Objections. Did they exhibit all of the same the cartridges, exhibit all of the same characteristics about what you testified in the, pre -pre in the four previous cartridge examinations? The bullets, so yes. And did they also exhibit uh, the same characteristics as having been fired from the same class of weapon? Yes, there are six screws with the right hand twist. I would like you to examine State's Exhibit 50 in evidence and ask if you recognize it. Yes, sir, that's the paper bag that has my file number, initials, and date on it. The date is March the 13th, 1991. There's a plastic bag that contains uh, one expended 22 caliber CCI brand uh, cartridge case. Can you tell the jury what uh, you did to examine that and if you uh, formed any opinions or conclusions what they were? I, uh, I test fired the previous uh, revolver that, uh, that was referred to uh, yesterday, uh, 
with that means states. Exhibit 20 in evidence. <coughs> Yes, sir. Continue, please. Uh, the tests that I fired were then compared microscopically with uh, exhibit states exhibit 50, the cartridge case, and I found as a result of that microscopical comparison uh, that this cartridge case was fired in uh, states exhibit 20. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You testified just yesterday that weapons with six screws and a right twist, a right hand twist, are common, did you not? Yes, they are relatively common. And that there are numerous weapons uh, within that class, those class characteristics. Isn't that true? That's correct, yes. Okay. And isn't it also true that you cannot state with a reasonable degree of scientific certainty that those projectiles were fired in that weapon? No, I cannot. Yeah, no further questions. Uh, could you say within a reasonable scientific certainty that the expended cartridge case was fired from this weapon? Yes, it was it was fired in that revolver. And could you also say within a reasonable scientific certainty that every cartridge you testified about for the last two days was fired from a firearm with similar class characteristics as states exhibit 20 which i hold in my hand is that correct yes sir the bullets are examined yes and that in fact every cartridge you examined had the same class characteristics as the other <laughs> Yes, all the bullets did. Yes. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. Any further counsel? No. Did you keep the witness? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Can he enter retirement? Um, <laughs> no, sir. Uh, we, we would like to have him in class standby, but Judge, we'd like to let him go home. All right. If you'd like to. If I still have a home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.